familiar with the wrestling clothesline. She never needs to hang her flowers out to dry. Ooh, the traitor putting all her weight onto Godiva's legs. That's got to feel like she was trampled by her own horse. The traitor now calls Paris her home. But I bet Paris said, don't call us, we'll call you. Into the ropes. She catches her in body slam position. No, Godiva takes her down. The British are trying to get some revenge for Rat Kitty. You know, Grandma Moses would never set foot in the ring. She's so out of shape, her bathroom scale got a hernia. Coventry girl sets. She flips over her foe. Ooh, but Nanachka stops her splash with two knees. Now she flips over her, but the pink elephant misses the splash totally. If she wasn't so busy showing off, the traitor would have the upper hand. Now she looks more like an upper plate. Godiva works her over in the corner. And now she charges in with the Buckingham Bounce. The bombshell virtually exploding on her foe. Gouging away. She really wants to be a sight for sore eyes. The official warns the Englander to break. And the Benedict Arnold of the ring pulls her into a fireman's carry. And dumps her to the mat. Ooh, a big leg drop puts her in the driver's seat. Godiva able to kick out. Her legs are so strong she can beat a horse in a tug of war. Now she locks the backstabber in a half crab. is nothing but a bloody traitor. Since she's been in Paris, she's gotten lazy and out of shape. That is assuming she was ever in shape to start with. She's broken my poor Aunt Kitty's heart. Well, I intend to show Aunt Kitty that we don't need Nanochka on our side. Let her hang out with the likes of Park Avenue garbage. They deserve each other. Ooh, Godiva, planting that foot in her throat. She wants her all choked up. Ooh, Miss Piggy walked right into that scissor. And the Briton cuts her down to size. She goes for the pin using Nanachka's own hold. Woo-hoo-hoo! She booted the Britisher clear over the ropes. The English muffin landed like a heap, a compost heap. Now the pink water gum takes over. Ooh, she just catches her with that drop kick. She hits 
Nanatsu with her own Buckingham bounce. But Nanatsu almost fell off. She belongs in the palace, all right. She holds her up. Choking again. Wait, Tanya, drop kicks her off. Ninochka's arch enemy charged in like the cavalry, or more accurately, the Red Army. Now they double team the pink chiffon charade. There's the bell, but you'll need more than that to stop them. Break away from security. Careful, Johnny C. You might break one of your press on nails. Nanatska's overwhelmed by the two of them, and that's the first time the blob was ever engulfed by people.